Hello everyone, Shalom, Salam. Rooksy from Creative Fecundity Incorporated is here with a special Purim message. Today is the holy holiday of Purim. And in Judaism and Israel, the holiday is celebrated to commemorate the saving of the Jewish people from elimination by a satanic villain. The story in the Hebrew Bible is presented as the Jewish Queen Esther, who is informed by her guardian and cousin Mordecai of her husband, the king's viceroy, the satanic, psychopathic Haman, who had plotted to kill Esther's people, the Jewish people, and Mordecai for refusing to bow down and worship him. This tale is celebrated as one of courage, and heroism as Esther informed her husband the king of Haman's satanic destructive plot and the king commanded for him to be hung instead of Mordecai. The tale of Esther is one that we can all relate to because it has to do with Leadership within relationship. Leadership for self-preservation as well as the preservation of others. And this leadership within relationship is witnessed today in Israel's mission to safely preserve the lives of beloved Israelis in captivity and reunite them with their loved ones in Israel, and also to eliminate a psychopathic, satanic enemy, Hamas, which is familiar with the name Haman. It is looking as though the psychopathic, satanic soul of Haman has returned. And installed itself within Hamas. That is why they are so similar in nature and behavior. We can find Queen Esther's practices of fasting and praying before revealing Haman's wicked plot to her husband, the king, to reverberate in the practice of Christian and Islamic religion that proceed after Judaism. Queen Esther's fasting can be likened to Lent for Christians and Ramadan for Muslims. And her prayer is comparable to prayer during Easter service for Christians and during Eid service for Muslims. Judaism and Israel are within us all. And the sooner that we recognize that Israel is within us all, we can practice that leadership within relationship as Israel does. And as Israel's Prime Minister, Prime Minister Bibi, is experienced in doing, preserving the independence of the self, working within the interdependence of relationship. Just as Queen Esther exemplified independence by standing up to inform her husband of the crime and atrocities that were about to transpire and at the same time demonstrated interdependence 
by trusting in him to take action and save the lives of the Jewish people. So too do we need this independence in our lives to remain true to our identities and at the same time to preserve the identities of others within relationships. Independence within interdependence. This to me is the soul of Israel and is within the souls of us all. The sooner we recognize that Israel is within us all, the sooner we can carve out our own independent abode within an interdependent abode. We, the Middle East, and every nation across the globe can enter into the eternity of harmonious stability. Let us support Israel in the noble mission of saving all the Israelis and people of other nations held in captivity and helping to reunite them with their families as well as eliminate psychopathic and satanic terrorists and usher in a new world of independent and interdependent safety and stability. To support Israel's noble mission, donate to my friends of the Israel Defense Forces fundraiser at the link in the description box below and feel the positive benevolence that you have released into the world. Beraka, blessed Purim, Easter, and Ramadan, I end with a prayer song for Israel, hope for Israel, and Israel lives on forever. Shema Israel, Hatikva Israel, Am Israel, Hai, Am Israel, Hai, Am Israel, Hai. That's right.